Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. I'm Sunika, and today we're diving into a crucial topic for anyone gearing up for an interview involving SharePoint and Power Platform. If you're looking to ace your next interview and showcase your skills with these powerful tools, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll explore some of the most common interview questions related to SharePoint and Power Platform, breaking down key concepts and providing practical insights. Whether you're new to these technologies or just looking to sharpen your knowledge, we've got you covered. By the end of this video, you'll be well equipped with the knowledge and confidence to tackle these questions head on. So let's get started and unlock the secrets to mastering SharePoint in the Power Platform. Before that, please subscribe the channel for more content. Question point one, what is SharePoint? SharePoint is a web-based collaboration platform from Microsoft that integrates with Microsoft Office, allowing for document management, collaboration, and content sharing. SharePoint can be deployed either on-premises, SharePoint Server, or as a cloud-based service, SharePoint Online, part of the Microsoft 365 suite. Two, what are SharePoint lists and libraries? SharePoint lists are collections of data organized in rows and columns, similar to a table in a database or a spreadsheet. They are used to store and manage structured information. SharePoint libraries are specialized lists designed for storing and managing documents and files. They provide enhanced features for document management compared to standard lists. Three to what is the difference between SharePoint Online and SharePoint on-premises? Answer SharePoint Online is a cloud-based service part of Microsoft 365, offering automatic updates, lower initial costs, and seamless integration with other cloud services, with Microsoft handling maintenance and security. In contrast, SharePoint on-premises is hosted on an organization's own servers, providing full control over the environment and extensive customization options, but requiring significant upfront investment, ongoing maintenance, and manual updates. The choice between them depends on factors like budget, control needs, and integration requirements. For the how do you manage permissions in SharePoint? Answer. Managing permissions in SharePoint involves configuring access controls at various levels, including sites, lists, libraries, and individual items. Permissions can be assigned to user groups or individual users with roles like read, contribute, or full control. By default, permissions are inherited from parent sites, but this inheritance can be broken to set unique permissions for specific content. Regular reviews and audits ensure that permissions are up to date and aligned with organizational security policies. Five, what is a SharePoint site collection? Answer, a SharePoint site collection is a top level container that houses multiple SharePoint sites and subsites, all sharing a common database and administrative settings. Provides a structured way to organize and manage related sites, offering a centralized location for managing permissions, navigation, and content. Site collections facilitate scalability and organization within SharePoint, allowing for hierarchical site structures and consistent settings across related sites. Six, what are SharePoint workflows? Answer, SharePoint workflows are automated processes that streamline and manage business tasks and approvals within SharePoint. They enable the automation of routine tasks, such as document review, task assignments, and status updates, by defining a sequence of actions and conditions. Workflows can be created using tools like Power Automate or SharePoint Designer, helping to improve efficiency and consistency in business processes. Seven, how can you customize a SharePoint page? Answer, customizing a SharePoint page involves using built-in tools and features to tailor the layout and content. You can add and configure web parts to display information, documents, or interactive elements, and modify the page layout with different templates and sections. Advanced customizations can be achieved using SharePoint Designer or custom coding with the SharePoint Framework, SBFX, to enhance functionality and appearance. Eight, what is the difference between a SharePoint site and a subsite? Answer, a SharePoint site is a standalone entity used for creating and managing content, collaboration, and information sharing. A subsite, on the other hand, is a site created under a parent site, inheriting its permissions and settings while allowing for more specific organization and management of related content. Subsites help in organizing information hierarchically, but they are dependent on their parent site for structural and permission settings. Nine, 
How can you integrate SharePoint with Power Automate? Answer Power Automate allows you to create workflows that automate tasks between SharePoint and other applications or services. For example, you can set up a flow to automatically notify team members via email when a new item is added to a SharePoint list. You can also automate processes like document approval workflows. To create such a flow, you would use the SharePoint connector in Power Automate, select triggers, e.g., when an item is created or when a file is created, and define actions, e.g., sending an email or updating a SharePoint list item. 10. What are the benefits of using Power Apps to build custom forms for SharePoint lists? Answer Power Apps allows you to create highly customized forms for SharePoint lists, enhancing the user experience beyond the default SharePoint forms. Benefits include Custom user interface You can design a user-friendly and responsive interface that meets specific business requirements. Enhanced functionality Power Apps enables the use of complex logic and custom validations that are not possible with default SharePoint forms. Integration Power Apps forms can integrate with other data sources and services within the Microsoft ecosystem. 11. What is the purpose of the SharePoint Recycle Bin? Answer the SharePoint Recycle Bin serves as a temporary storage for deleted items, allowing users to recover files and documents before they are permanently removed. It helps prevent accidental data loss by providing a safeguard for retrieving deleted content within a specified retention period. The Recycle Bin is divided into two stages, the first stage for user-initiated deletions and the second stage for site collection administrators to recover items if needed. 12. What is the SharePoint Search Service? Answer the SharePoint Search Service enables users to find and retrieve content across SharePoint sites, lists, libraries, and documents through a powerful indexing and query system. It indexes content, metadata, and properties to provide relevant search results and supports advanced features like custom search queries and refiners. This service helps enhance productivity by making it easier to locate information quickly and efficiently within SharePoint environments. Benefits of SharePoint search services include 1. Enhanced findability. Users can quickly locate relevant content across extensive SharePoint environments. 2. Improved productivity. By delivering relevant search results, it helps users find information faster, enhancing overall productivity. 3. Customization and control. Administrators have fine-grained control over search settings, ensuring that the search functionality meets the organization's specific needs. Thanks for tuning in to our deep dive into SharePoint and Power Platform interview questions. We hope you found this overview helpful and that you now feel more confident about tackling these topics in your next interview. Remember, understanding how SharePoint integrates with Power Platform can set you apart from other candidates and showcase your ability to leverage these powerful tools effectively. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or need further clarification on SharePoint or Power Platform, feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to us on social media. We're here to help. Stay tuned for more videos on tech topics, interview tips, and best practices. Thanks again for watching, and best of luck with your interviews. See you in the next video.